Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Matt, the DIY Prepper, and today we're going to talk about fire. Panhandle Prepper posted a video the other day challenging every, all of his subscribers to be able to make fire. Didn't really give any qualifications or rules on how to make fire, just said to be sure and build a fire. So today, that's what we're going to do. My favorite way to light, light a fire is by solar. I like to use a magnifying glass, parabolic lens, all those sorts of things. We're going to go gather some materials to use and go through some of those materials and cut through some of this confusing crap that exists on the internet about the perfect materials to light a fire. Truth is, you really don't have to know the species. You just got to know the, the characteristics and traits that different types of materials have. Come join us. Let's go gather some stuff up. Okay, so what I've got here, I'll spare you the time of running around searching for it, is I've got some tumbleweeds. This was a pretty big tumbleweed. I just knocked off all the little branches of it because what I need is this main stem. With this tumbleweed, I don't care what it is. What I care about is how it's made. That center there, I want it to be nice and pithy. Strip this off. This will work for a hand drill as well, but that's not what I'm wanting to do with it. Let me shave this down until you can kind of see. See this pithy area? Let me get on camera here. See this pithy area? Right there. It's real, real pithy. And that's what I'm looking for. I don't care what it is, as long as I can get a real, almost hollow sounding material with that pith center. See this right here? Let me get out of the... I don't know what this is. What I'm thinking it is, is those little daisies. But you see how that flies away so easy? If I know I'm going to be starting to fire, I'm going to grab that. We're going to take this and process it down. Okay, what we're going to do, in my billfold, I keep a Fresno lens. Once again, my favorite way of starting fire, 100% renewable. This Fresnel lens will never run out. There may be clouds for a little bit, but I need a 15 second break in the clouds to be able to make a fire. We're going to take this pithy end and create an ember on that. And what this will do, it'll give us a punk. It'll give us a punk that's this long. This may give us 30 minutes of an ember. 30 minutes. That's going to give us plenty of time to get our fire lit.
There we go, boys. Magnifying glass, fire. I appreciate you guys stopping by. That's my completed fire challenge. Just remember, it doesn't matter the species of the wood. What it matters is the properties of the wood. And getting your ember is the easy part. It's blowing it into flame that's hard. Anybody can get a with a little bit of practice can get an ember from a bow drill, hand drill, <clears throat> rub sticks together, whatever you want to do. But blowing it into flame is the difficult part about it. Go check out Panhandle Prepper. He's the one who started all this. And if you like what I'm doing here, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Check back. We try to do a few videos a week. Until next time, be safe.